What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and we are here on UFC Undisputed 3 with our career comes up Shemaev. We're currently 27 and 3, we are the welterweight champion of the world. We um, have got a fight coming against Carlos Condit. If you're new around here make sure you subscribe. Uh, this is just a fun little series we're doing on the lead up to the PS5. I'm buzzing for it. And uh, we recently beat Carlos Condit in the first round by submission. And then we ended up winning, 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 winning. Got a revenge against Josh Koscheck, won the title, beat, or had a pride fight, and then beat Jake Shields. Uh, we have a good career so far. Um, a few losses, obviously, here and there. Yeah, it tends to happen, though. A few knockout losses, but it's no big deal. We're back. We're, we're stronger than ever. I'm going to change my fighter's shorts real quick. And um, Oh, I need to go to the shop, actually, first. But I'm going to change my fighter's shorts. And sponsors and stuff and uh, and then we'll be jumping into the training which obviously I will skip for you guys and then we'll um we'll jump into the fight but make sure you leave a like on this one aim for 30 likes if we get 50 that'd be even better and uh, I have been talking about doing another career I don't know if it will come or not to be honest obviously got a lot of things to think about when it comes to that obviously it does take a good amount of time but it is really good fun but obviously with the PS5 out I don't want to start a series and let you guys down uh, so we might do another one at some point, but I think we'll have a break once the PS5 comes out. Alright guys, with the main event, we know what the game plan is already going in against Carlos Condit. It's just to take him down. He's got great stand-up, the natural born killer's got great knockouts. And uh, we're just going to take him down, beat him up. Maybe make him tap, I don't know, maybe TKO him. Because then he, we've, we've already made him tap, so we might make him tap again. Or I might TKO him, I don't quite know yet. But we'll just have to see how this fight plays out really. But guys, we changed our shorts. Still Muscle Farm, obviously. That's like our main sponsor. We changed them, we changed them. Oh, I went straight for the takedown. He's a living legend, Mike. UFC champion. He holds a win over basically every top guy in this stack division. You see him on posters and magazines. I've had a lot of young fighters come up to me and tell me he's the reason they got into the sport. Brutal ground and pound. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Oh my god, this is vicious. This is vicious. This is vicious. This is a half guard. Moves into full mount here. Oh, good elbows. Huge ground and pound, Joe. I, I can't believe he survived that. It's all right, we're going. Hold on. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, horrifying ground and pound from the top. Well, it looked like he was hurt, but he snapped back really quick. Mount again. Now able to posture up. Oh, big strikes. Big shots. Condit keeps getting tagged on that cut, and he is bleeding bad now, Mike. Another one. Oh, that's a huge this is nasty. This is well two this is nasty. This is a, this is just oh, not going Condit's way. And again. Oh, big one. Gotta watch for those up kicks, Joe. They're dangerous. Moves in a half. He's looking for a Kamora. Really? Did he really just try that on me? Really? 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 Submission defense. Boy, am I gonna make your? I'm gonna. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Let's see if he's I can. An arm. See if I can Kibora. make him. Nah, nah, nah. he's not. Patient. He's not hurt enough. Nah, he's not hurt enough for that. Wow! Great job oh, done defensively. Damn. He's got them out. Full mount. This is okay. not good. Good oh, effort from Condit here. Good effort from Condor here. Good effort from Condor here. He's unable to. He's staying on top of him, controlling the position. Hold up. Hold on. That's fine. That's fine. We went for, we went for a... Seconds remains in the round. Condor, you're annoying me now. I'm going to break the face. Back to full guard. Trying to scoot his opponent up towards the fence. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. Left. left up, he's down. Lucky bitch. Wow, that was he was so hurt. Mike. These guys are in the UFC's upper echelon of grappling. It's like watching cool. grandmasters. Look at his face. Cheering Look at his face. Jeez. Throw those hammer fists whenever you can. That's my only bad thing about that round. It's just throw hammer fists when you can. We're throwing elbows. We're throwing all sorts. We just... 
We just weren't in the full guard often. We're in top mount most of that fight. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Bang. Do we see a huge... Fair play to him for being able to hold on. Grab my head. I might just jab him a little bit. I might just jab him. Round two. This fight scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. And another left hand. He shoots. Can we get him? Can we get him? We Again, the takedown is stuffed. Oh, big left hook. Oh, big head kick. Big left hook. And now he's I kind of just want him to eat this left hook over and over. Just hurt that car. And another takedown. He's got in half guard. a huge left hand oh he's even hurt more oh but he recovers i think i'll knock him out with this elbow and the crowd again chanting for carlos condit side control nicely done into his guard oh he's got to try really really why would you why would you try he's that against me he adjusts all right, my, my, there we go. There we go. I was going to say, I stayed calm. I stayed calm. I had that. I was a little bit nervous, actually. I thought he was going to get me, and that would have served me right for being cocky. Yep. He's going to try and escape again. Nope. Oh, nice use of the cage to get the reversal. Get off me, bro. Get off me. Working hard to try to get out of this Get off me, spot. bro. Total control from the top Where's position. this? Full guard. Push your way and get back to your feet. Half guard. Side control again. 90 seconds remains in the second. Come on, Carlos Condit. You know, you know this is not the way this fight is gonna go for you. Into the guard. Just over a minute remains. I'll hold him. No? Okay. He's going to be out in one punch. Told ya. <laughs> oh my lord. That has got to be the most devastating one punch this game has ever seen. What a performance. He defends the UFC welterweight title. Look how he throws his body into that. Connects and just puts him to sleep. Crunch. Perfect technique. Just Perfect as straight timing. as well. You don't Perfect see that often in this game. And a huge victory. Here we see it again. Instantaneous knockout victory. Here we see it again. Excellent timing on the button. The better voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 17 seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by knockout and still the U.S. Welterweight Champion of the World. Bad news. Bad news is still the UFC champion. Good shit, boys. Good shit, boys. That was one hell of a beatdown. One hell of a beatdown. That was just so clean. I'm so glad I didn't just land another basic hook. I'm so glad I landed like a perfect straight like that. And it wasn't even knockout of the night. Are you kidding me? Top contender loses again to the welterweight champion, Chimaev by KO. Total fight, new division fight. Lightweight again though. Oh, filling fight in pride. I mean, I suppose we could go... I mean, he's the number two ranked... Wow, that's actually a really good fight. I don't think we'll be getting the middleweight. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to go to lightweight. But I think we can do it. 
This thing would be a good fight as well. He's the number two ranked. So he's actually the top. That's how this game does it. Number two is the top ranked for the division. They don't do number two, number one, then champion. They do number two, then number one is the champion. Um, which is a bit silly. But you know what? Number The, the top ranked lightweight. Let's, let's take him on. Let's take him on. Why not? It'll be fun. And then if the next fight they offer us is like a lightweight title shot. Then, you know, we're just going to say fuck it. We're just going to have to go for that. Just become the champ champ. Chimaev Super Fight could be coming very soon. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna do this series all the way until his retirement. We're not gonna end it uh, episode ten or nothing. Which I think is this episode, actually. Alright guys, as we saw against my lightweight fight against BJ Penn, you guys know I carry that hefty power into the division. Um, oh, there is a welterweight bout between Jake Shields and Josh Koscheck, two of my victims. Um, we're on that card, but this is going to be a good one, obviously. Uh, I'm looking forward to, I always like doing these different weight classes, but we hit too hard for these lightweights. These tiny little white, lightweights are just go to sleep. We, well, BJ Penn, we outgrappled him, we beat him to a pulp, and we just caved his face into the canvas. It was ridiculous, it was, it was ridiculous. Bad news. Born ready, baby, let's do this. And here we go. All right, apparently he's, this fight. apparently he's got like half a dozen career wins by armbar. Well so we're on 55. I think we could see him move here permanently. He's a very big lightweight. And when he learns to really use that size advantage, he'll make a huge splash in this division. I mean, he could catch her arm and get us in a submission, yeah. That's a perfect position, Mike. He's got the arm across the neck. He's pulling tight. He's adjusting even tighter. Oh. Oh, for goodness sake. Goodness sake. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Looks like Sadaropoulos is cut here, Mike. Oh, big elbow. Elbow. Is he going to try and transition out? We're in the middle of the octagon. I'll start this all fucking day. Those are vicious. Oh, that's a huge elbow. And oh, again. Big one. Oh, oh, big 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 oh shot. my god, look at this. Over two minutes remains in round number one. Nope. He tried to escape, controlling the top position. He hit him with some big shots. Oh, this is hurting him. This is hurting him here. Fighter on the bottom nope. is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. Oh, like four in a row there. Jesus Christ. Oh, this and one is getting ugly. Is he going to try and transition out again? Seconds remains in round one. No? Big elbow. He wants to stay, he wants to stay like this, does he? Oh, oh, he's hurt. That was a big elbow. Oh, my he God. He got tagged there, but it looks like he's recovered. Total control from the... Oh, oh my God. Strike. Looking to end this oh fight. He's in big, big, big trouble. Nice double leg. I want it to be a, I want to be a ground and pound win. There we go. That's how it's done, baby. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Show these lightweights who's fucking boss. Bad news with the spectacular finish. Let's look at it again, Mike. Look at this. Right to the head. How good is that? Bang. Oh, the side control we had there on him was beautiful. See one more time. Just the side he control just we had that. with those elbows just right working there, constantly. And then when, when we had him in sprawl, just bang. Oh, bang. When we had him in sprawl, we were just unloading shots on him. I suppose he recovered from that, to be honest. I, I give him that. I suppose he actually recovered from that. Referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, seventeen seconds of the very first round, declaring La Gagnon and the winner by knockout. Bad news. Bad news earns the victory. Oh my lord, that must have been horrid. I mean, he was landing some good body shots on us. I think from when we had him inside, he was landing a lot of knees and hammer punches to the body. But 
I mean, Jesus Christ, we beat the living toss out of him. 73 strikes landed. Most of them were elbows. Most of them were elbows. For me, that was like a real comes at Ch Oh, Brock Lesnar lost. That was a real comes at Chimaev, like, knockout, like, just dominating him, just holding him down, just like the classic welterweight. And I, mean, I know it was lightweight, obviously, but it felt like real George St. Pierre when he was in his prime, just keep people on the ground, just elbows, elbows, shots, crucifix, side control, everything, just doing what I want him to do. Fighter of the year. We won it again. Well, not again, sorry. We won it for the first time. We didn't win KO of the year, though. And we didn't win submission of the year, which is disappointing. But we've got the choice for another Grand Prix. A new division fight against Jim Miller, who recently lost to BJ Penn, who we beat. Or Diego Sanchez. But we've already beat Diego Sanchez. I don't see that as a challenge. Or we could fight the number two ranked lightweight. I think what we're going to do, guys, is take on Diego Sanchez. He's the only one that really deserves it. I don't see the point of fighting Jim Miller. For some reason, he's now the second ranked lightweight, which makes no sense because he recently lost. We'll take on Sanchez in our own weight class. He wants a title shot. Let's give it to him. And, uh, and then hopefully we'll get the title shot in the lightweight division after this. So we'll have to uh, see. So let's get training and then we'll just jump straight into this fight, guys. Right, guys, here we are, the last fight of the video. Oh, we just realised we're 32. Damn, we've aged some. Pretty good uh, card we're on. But yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get into it. Let's see how this one goes. I pretty much just leveled up my ground and pound the whole camp because that's pretty much the way this fight's gonna go. We're just gonna take him to the ground, beat the fuck out of him, and uh, move on. Hopefully, be able to become champ champ at some point. All right, the rematch that Diego Sanchez has been wanting. And here we the rematch go. he'll soon learn out he doesn't want. The champion. This is the third and possibly the toughest challenger he has faced since he won the welterweight title. Yeah, the 170 pound division has some of the Jesus, best pound -pound he took a lot of shots the there. And they're all gunning for him, watching his every move and studying how to defeat him. Being the champion is like holding back a floodgate. Oh, another one he landed. Half guard. Back to side control. We're gonna we're gonna hurt him from here badly. I'm really into this at the minute. Can't believe he survived that. Joe mixing up his strikes very well. Yeah, there we go. Wow, that right hand. He's getting pounded, Mike. He's in big trouble. He's got half guard. He's got he's got my leg. Side control there we go. again. Big elbows and punches from the top. His arm is stuck above mine, so I'm just landing nice little short elbows there. Oh, this is nasty. It's nasty to watch. Are you kidding me? Get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You ain't getting me in no Kimura. Control. Very nice. Moved into side control. What's this guy doing? Come on, Sanchez. Side control. They're doing that shit, me, bro. And he is punishing his opponent. Sanchez keeps getting tagged on that cut. Oh, horrifying ground and pound from the top. He looked hurt. We recovered quick. The crowd short. He's got the back mount here. Both hooks in. Is he going to roll? Is he going to roll? Just land these little ones. And oh, another, another one. big strike. What's he going to do? Oh, but he recovers. What's he going to do? Rolls him over. Full mount. Oh, reversal. Pushes him off of the feet. And he lets him back up. Round Take him down again. <laughs> That's how the second round is going to go as well. That's how the second round is going to go again. Just that vicious side control. These are educated fans appreciating a world-class display of jiu-jitsu. I don't see any bad areas. Thank you. Fantastic bit of 
bit of work there. No issues, no struggles. Just a savage beatdown of Diego Sanchez. Why would he go for that? I'm surprised he has so much stamina bar like to do it with. I do need to be careful though, because my submission game is terrible. We start round two. This fight scheduled for five. Five Got him. Nicely done. Moves into full mount here. There we go. He's inside control here. Oh, good elbows. Right. Oh my god. He's taken some vicious shots here. I mean, he's landing some good body shots on me. Nah, it's over. It's over. It's over. Yeah, it's over. Come on. Come on. Wow. He didn't throw a single shot on the feet. He did actually throw an uppercut at the start of that round and we took him down. And at the start of the first round, he threw a, sh a jab, I think. And we just took him down instantly. Perfect takedowns. Perfect takedowns. That was... Oh, my God. Look at it from this angle. Look at the blood. Jeez, I think we literally were beating him up in the same spot we were in the first round. Because we rushed right to him and then just took him down. And with the official decision, oh. here's That's got to be a disappointing total Ladies shot for him. Referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 17 seconds of the second round. Declaring La Gagnon and the winner by TKO and still the UFC welterweight champion of the world. Bad news. Bad news is still the UFC champion. Good stuff. Good stuff. That was a... Ah, there we go. Look, there's that uppercut. So, yeah, he landed... Yeah, so that was when he was on the ground. So, he landed 34 knees uh, on my body, obviously, and then a few punches to the head, I believe, through between me hitting him. But we landed 91 pretty much elbows to the face. Yeah, so respect for him. for but Even his arms were at 18%. They were taking a bit of a beating as well. Fair play to him. Good fight, though. Good fight. Well, for me, that was a good fight. Not for him. Knockout of the night. Performance of the night. Anything? Anything for that? A one-sided beatdown? Didn't get nothing. That's some bullshit. All right, then. Well, we're 30 and 3. We're on a 12 win streak. We need to send some of our cred, really. I'll probably get some new sparring partners and some training programs done for the next episode. Uh, let's see what the next offer is. And we know what to we know what to get ready for. Josh Koscheck or Dennis Dang. That's just a standard pride fight. I don't I mean that's a trilogy fight. And Josh Koscheck has been doing well to keep getting here to fight us. We'll start off next episode over with a fun pride fight and then we'll defend the title against Josh Koscheck. But if you guys have enjoyed this one, make sure you drop a like, subscribe down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.